I'm Atubo George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's word to you today. Now, we are in a new week. We're still in the month of January 2023. Praise God. What a wonderful year. And listen, I know one thing that God is thinking about you this week. His thoughts are good. His thoughts are not evil. So he's not thinking of how to destroy you. He's not thinking of how to catch you doing the wrong way. He's, got, he's not thinking of how to make you broke. Rather, he's thinking of how to get to you that which he has already promised and done for you. So, so that's why if you begin to think like him, John told us if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. Praise God. And you need that fellowship. See, now when you are walking in that fellowship, how do you walk in that fellowship? Think like him. Because when you think like him, you will begin to talk like him. So you, you don't start saying, Lord, I wish you would just heal me. You don't start saying, Lord, I wish you can give me money. No, he's already done it. His thoughts are not how to give you money. His thoughts are how you should see the money that he's giving to you. So what did Lord? I, I know you've made this provision. I know. And I need your spirit to guide me into the truth of where you have placed that provision physically so I can handle it. Now that's how to think. If you think like that, the same thing with your health, the same thing with your healing. Lord, I know you've healed me. But Lord, can your spirit guide me into the manifestation of this healing in my body because it will take the spirit of god jesus and he will guide you into all truth praise god now then before we go into today's broadcast can we call for our daily bread hey i don't know what you're expecting this week but listen to me whatever your expectation is god have the capacity to bring it to pass and not only is he planning to bring it to pass he has already done something about it so now you Making that demand, it's what is going to physically bring it into being. So join me in faith right now as we make that demand. Say, Father, thank you for all that you have given to me. Therefore, today, Lord, I make the demand for my daily bread. It's coming to me right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now, when we make this demand, what happens? Angels hear. Now, that's why I always tell you this. You don't pray in your mind. Because now, we've got angels that have been sent to help us. But those angels can never tell what's on your mind. Those angels have been commanded when you make this demand. Now, for the Holy Spirit to say to us, make this demand every broadcast that's to tell you that he has given charge consigning us to the angels see that that my children are going to make this demand and whenever they make that demand respond to them now it will be wrong for you to come and say well must must i make that demand Come on. The Lord says, make it. You can't be wiser than him. Praise God. Even if what he tells you look foolish before men, do it. Because you don't know the instruction he has given to the angels. Praise God. Now, we've been talking about the most important things. It's a new year. It's a new month. And we are getting set. Because this year is going to be a great year. Praise God. Now, that's why the Lord has laid it in my heart to take time to teach you things that will help you and help your focus for the year 2023. Everything you're going to do this year should be from one standpoint. Now, we, we, we are looking at Proverbs chapter 8 and we've been looking at it from each verse and we stopped at verse 16 on Friday and I told you we're going to continue today. But I'll show you something in Proverbs chapter 1 so you would it will give you a good understanding of what we are talking about now this is proverbs chapter 1 and he look, look, let me start from verse 1 
So you just follow me. But uh, we're actually going to verse 4. Now he says, The Proverbs of Solomon, son of the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the understanding of wisdom, to receive the instruction of wisdom. Yeah, he's telling you why he wrote the book of Proverbs. These are the things he wants to achieve in your life. What does that mean? It means when you study and understand the book of Proverbs, which is the writings of Solomon, most of it, he says, this is what should happen in your life. Are you following? This is what should happen in your life. He says that you will be able to perceive the words of understanding. That you will be able to receive instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity. Now take note of all those words. Study each of those words for yourself. Now look at verse 4. It says, to give prudence to the simple. If you understand the writings of Solomon, even if you're a simple person, now a simple person is termed as a naive person. Sometimes a simple person is referred to as a foolish person. But then he says, to give prudence to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. Now, thank you, Holy Spirit. I want you to take note of each of those words and do a word study on them. Prudence, knowledge, and discretion. He says this is what he wants to achieve in your life. This is what he wants you to get by the time you read his writings. Take your time, take your time do a word study on those words. And then begin to ask yourself, do I, am I prudent? In everything that I do. Do I have discretion? Especially those two words. How well do I use my discretion? What do I do? How do I, how do I relate with people? When I'm under pressure. How do, now, 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 when, how do I relate when I'm under pressure? How do I relate when I'm excited? How do I use my discretion? You see, now those are things that will help you measure your growth in life. It will, it will help you because you, you begin to pass every thought of your mind through this uh, measuring skill. Prudence. Knowledge. Discretion. Now take note of that as we go back to chapter 8 and continue uh, where we stopped last week. Friday now. Now we're going to verse 17 right now. Verse 17, verse 8, verse 17 says, I love those who love me. Who's speaking? Wisdom is speaking. Now let me tell you something. I I, I didn't mention this last week. But you see, when you when you're gonna see this, but let me just tell you straight on. So you get your mind um uh, in, in the flow. Of this, so now you know we say wisdom is speaking. You know, so 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 it's in the heart of someone. How, how do I get wisdom? Oh God, give me wisdom. What is this talking about? What, what is really what is he talking about? Now, a, a good or, or perfect way to get this, I always tell people: remove the word wisdom and replace it with the Holy Spirit. You're going to find out very soon that the person that's really talking here. Is the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Yeah. He's the one. So when we talk about, I need wisdom. Actually, what you're talking about is, I need the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. It's the Holy Spirit that was speaking here. Now, David. Now, of course, we, if you understand, even the book of Proverbs, you know from Proverbs chapter 1 and chapter, I think, 9 or thereabout are the words of Solomon's father, David. David was giving us the notes from what his father taught him. Now, so in this chapter, chapter 8, this was the Holy Spirit. Wisdom is the Holy Spirit. Now, watch this now. Like I said, if you just replace 
when he says I, just replace it with the Holy Spirit. When he says wisdom, replace it with the Holy Spirit. Praise God. It will give you a clearer picture. Now here it says, I love those who love me. And those who seek me diligently will find me. Some have just sought the Holy Spirit for power. Some have just sought the Holy Spirit for the ability to speak in tongues. Some have sought the Holy Spirit for the ability to heal the sick. Some have just sought Him to do miracles. But hey, there is such a thing as seeking Him for who He is. Praise God. Yes, seeking Him for who He is. Now, He says, I love those who love me. He says, I love those who love my power. I love those who love me. And those who seek me diligently will find me. If you really want a relationship with the Lord, if you really want a relationship with the Holy Spirit, you will get it. If you seek it, if you desire it, you will get it. Come come out of everything that is distracting you and seek Him. You will find Him. Praise God. Yeah. Now he says, riches and honor are with me. Hallelujah. Whoa. Now, there's a lot I can tell you about this when it says riches and honor are with me. Take note of those two words, riches and honor, because some people are rich but no honor. Some people have honor but they are broke. You see that now? And and, and that's the saddest part when you're when you're broke and you're keeping your honor. Then you you keep saying, if I wanted to steal, I know what I would have become. No, sir. No. If you have honor from him, not the one you try to give yourself. It's because th- th- there's that, that um, difference. It, it, you find sometimes God's people, they want to walk in honor, but not the honor that comes from the Lord. Rather, the honor that they put on themselves. And that honor produces self-pride. And you know what self-pride does? It doesn't do the job. It doesn't open doors for you. It actually locks you in. See that now? So you find people who would say things like, I'll, I'll rather be broke instead of me to steal. Now that's a very wrong statement to make. Now they are trying to communicate how honorable they have chosen to walk. But you see, that confession or that statement will keep you in poverty. Because you are speaking of your self righteousness. Why don't we steal if we are given the opportunity? We don't steal, but because whatever is presented before us to steal are things we already have from our Father. Now, that's the simple truth. Whether you have experienced it or not, that's the simple truth. So, why don't you steal? I don't steal because it would be foolish to steal what I already own. If you own a Mercedes Benz, what well, just the best Mercedes Benz, if you own it, would you envy another person? So, no, except you have a problem. So then, why would the desire come into your heart to steal something that God has already blessed you with? And but I've not seen it, that's so why I'll be tempted. No, sir, it is yours. Now that's one thing you need to know and accept. All things are yours. So you engage yourself with this children, like. It would be foolishness for me to steal this thing that I already have. It's just a matter of time and I'll see it. So why don't I be patient until I see it? Why rush to steal? Because the act of stealing is actually an act of unbelief. Now that's why we don't say, I'd rather be broke or I'd rather be poor than for me to steal. Wrong statement. It's uncalled for. That's why when people make that statement, is actually a show of their self-righteousness and that doesn't honor God. <laughs> God no it doesn't honor God when you want to say things like that, speak the truth in such a way that God will be honored now when I say instead of me to steal I'd rather be poor how is God honored in that no talk to me how is God honored in that or oh, if you go look at it, that's my son. He, 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 he cannot steal. That's why I give him that position. No, sir. The reason I don't steal is because God has blessed me with all these things. Now, 
Did that just honor the Lord? Yes. Your statement brought honor to him. And when he hears that from you, think about it. Think about your son. You you are watching a, a video, maybe a CCTV, and, and you're watching your son in his office. And something was offered to him. And then he said, look, I, 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 I can't take it. I said, oh, why? He said, listen, my father has made all those provisions for me. So it would be foolish for me to take this from you. Now, how would you feel? You will feel so honored. And you will be tempted to say, you know what? Hey, um, my son, there is this account that I've not given you. <laughs> it's good. Yes. Hey, I think it's time for you to take it. Because you've seen maturity, you've seen stability, and you've seen faith in him towards you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise God. Yes, so it says, riches and honor are with me. Wisdom is speaking here. The Holy Spirit is speaking here. They are with him. So when you seek him and you find him, he says, these things are with me. What does that tell you? All I need to do is open my hands and give it to you. Now, the fact that you know him doesn't mean you will get it. But he's telling you what he has. So you know, because a lot of people do that. They come to the Lord. Holy Spirit, I need your power. I need your power. Okay, now they need money. Lord, hold on. Let me go get money. Then I'll come back to you. He's telling you riches. Now, when he says riches, he's not talking about riches, riches in, in, in righteousness, riches in, in faith, riches in holiness. Riches, riches, what riches are? Physical things. That's why he added honor to it. Because many rich people lack honor. <laughs> good. Yes. You can't say a holy man lacks honor. Come on. No. But, but many rich people lack honor. So that's why he's announcing riches and honors. Honor are with me. Enduring riches and righteousness. Glory to God. No stain in those riches. And he says, enduring. When he blesses you, brothers and sisters, you are blessed. And my time is up. Praise God. Oh, glory. This thing is interesting. I, 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 now, this is the Holy Spirit walking here. How these things have been broken, and I'm enjoying it. Praise God. I don't know about you, but if you are, help me share this video with everyone in your contact and let them be blessed also and i pray for you today that the hand of the lord will rest upon you filling your heart with his wisdom knowledge and his joy and i pray that you will come back today with a testimony in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ amen god bless you have a fruitful day full of the holy ghost praise god